Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D. Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Tarot, aka LLE Astrology. Just doing a uh, start to part one again for the new uh, new week, new month, new energies. This will be for February 2nd through February 9th. This will be Twin Flames and Separation, part one, as I usually do. Part two will be the Divine Masculine. That will be coming out shortly also. And remember, for every part video that I do, it's going to be a sub breakdown for each. So it's going to be another Twin Flames and Separation breakdown of this exact reading uh, probably sometime next week uh, or into, into this week, middle of this week. I can guarantee you that. So, um, just getting straight to it. I got a few videos I need to do today to all the clients who are still seeking their readings from me. I'm um, still working on them. I'm um, just trying to get them all situated. Thank you again for your support and your interest. Thank you for my new subscribers. And um, thanks for all your thoughts, concerns. And um, I'm just going to get to it. Appreciate all you guys. So, let's get to the start. This will be Twin Flames and Separation. Uh, once again, if you need any personal readings from me, it is a link at the uh, bottom of the video. And um, I'm still doing half price off readings until the end of January. So you basically got about the next 48 hours to uh, to get your free readings. I mean, not your free readings, excuse me. 50% um, 50 um, 50 off readings. Sorry about that. All right, I'm done with my rant. Uh, like I say, link below if you need to book any personal readings. Um, still trying to set my days. Oh yeah, still trying to set my days for live chats and um, basically try to reserve two days a week at least for that. So um, sorry for people who have already been booking on my link. Just pay no mind to that. I'm st still in the construction. I'm still trying to um, get that organized. But um, two days a week, I definitely want to dedicate to, for live chats. And um, whether that's by phone, whether that's by Skype, social media, things of that sort. So stay tuned, rant over, let's go. Twin Flames and Separation. Let's begin. <clears throat> Shuffle one more time for the road. All right. Divine Feminine up top, as usual. Divine Masculine at the bottom. We got the overall energy. We got the bottom line. Twin Flames and Separation. Going to do a general overview of the cards when I flip them over, and then I'm going to pick clarification cards, and then I'm going to do a general overview of the general overview. So, Four of Cups. This is the overall energy. Four of Cups represents being focused on the 3D. It's one cup from the heavens, one opportunity that should be least taken into consideration, that at least should be looked at, at least should be looking in that direction. But it's being missed because of too much focus on the 3D. That's the that's the overall energy. Bottom line, big decisions. Big, 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 big decisions. Manning up and making these decisions. Manning up. That's the bottom line. Manning up and, and making decisions. Going into the reading, as far as the divine feminine, um, her past energy she's moving away from, we have... Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is just about maximum balance. It's just handling your business. And this is the energy she wants to stay in or maintain or come into, but she's moving away from it. See, there's something, something's about to knock her off her square or something that knocked her off her square, or it's just too much. This, this, this Twin Flame situation is too much. Life is kind of too much right now because it's Pentacles and it's in a 3D. So you're just going through a lot. Not enough that's beating her. Like, um, like life wins, she loses type deal. It's just off your square, being off your square a little bit. As far as the divine masculine, he out here with the Lucy Lou car. He's moved away from this energy. So how I'm taking this is, he just got off his Lucy Lou shit. Excuse my French. Like he just got done cutting somebody, cutting plans that he had. He didn't switch them up, flipped them up, reneged on a few things. You know. While being focused on the Divine Feminine, I'm sure the Divine Feminine was a big uh, influence on him, you know, chopping stuff out he needs to chop out. Cutting things off he needs to cut off. Basically, I take this as just he's cutting his grass so he can find the snakes. And the Divine Feminine told him to cut his grass. <clears throat> as far as the Divine Feminine in regards to herself, we have the Five of Wands. 
This is all about conflict. Offensive, defensive conflict. Back and forth. You know, tug of war, push and pull. The usual business. Put some clarifiers on that later. And that's, and that's as far as divine feminine in regards to herself. This push and pull conflict. As far as the divine masculine in regards to divine feminine, once again, she's always on his mind. You know, he's saving up his energy, saving up his chi, stacking up his paper, getting himself right, his mind right, body right, soul right, so he can at least come at the divine feminine in the way that he wants to, and that's always how it's always been. Definitely on his mind. Because, like I said, he's, you know, influenced by the energy, by you, divine feminine. We'll pick more clarifiers. Let's get to this devil card and this divine feminine energy right here. We got the divine feminine in regards to the divine masculine. So I just take this as like <clears throat> she definitely feels chained to the divine masculine. And it ain't even cute anymore. You know, this this energy, this behavior that the divine masculine on, it ain't cute. And it's leading to the divine because it's a reflection and it's leading to the divine feminine to kind of tap back into her her old ways her grocky ways you know her addictive ways you know her her old ways it's not healthy I'm taking this as divine masculine is not healthy for the divine feminine right now this is the twin flames of separation divine feminine is you know divine masculine is hanging on by a string Divine Feminine knows that. I think the Divine Masculine knows that by now. Which spurring these little beady changes. But it needs to be some big changes. It needs to be some big changes. Some big decisions going on here. I just take this as just. Divine Masculine is hanging on by a thread. In his relation to her. I mean she'll always love him like Whitney Houston. But at the same time it's like. You know. Gotta do better. <clears throat> as far as the divine masculine in regards to himself, we got the two of wands. This is a twin flame synchronicity card. So like I say, his mind is on the divine feminine. His mind is on the union. You know? Uh if he's aware he's a twin and y'all been in this journey for a minute, he's definitely focused, looking towards that direction. You know, with the four of cups, you know. He's definitely like taking his mind off the, the the three D the three cups real quick and and looking at the union and this is right under this devil energy so I take this as what the divine feminine is doing for overall energy with this devil card she's just too focused on the three D that she's not seeing the opportunity God is presenting right now and it might not be the divine masculine in that opportunity right now it might just be something new to get her more evolved to get ready for the divine masculine you know what i mean she's too focused on 3d she's too focused on the divine masculine not like all of his biz like he's all in her biz right now but just trying to make this work trying to keep this connection alive just giving cps cpr to it i said cps <laughs> cpr to it you know as far as divine feminine's Future position, moving away. We got the Six of Swords, moving from a bad situation to a good situation. Moving from a good situation to a better situation. Just moving on. Just moving away. Stepping far the fuck away. Especially from this uh, divine, I mean, excuse me, this uh, devil energy right here. She's definitely moving away from that, divine feminine. Don't pick clarifiers after this Ace card right here. This Ace of Swords that the divine masculine has for his future position. This is just a big decision. Once again, you know, bigger decision than the bottom line. Big decisions. This is a bigger decision. Like, the decision. A decision. Like, a big decision that's going to affect the divine masculine. Big time. And if, it, and, it, and if it affects the divine masculine, it ultimately affects the divine feminine. Whether they realize it or not. So let's get to these clarification cards. <clears throat> Clarifying this Six of Pentacles, this balanced energy that the Divine Feminine is moving away from, we got the Five of Cups, the Hermit card. 
Five plus six, that's eleven. So I'm taking this as pertaining to the to the union. She's on her square. She was on. She was okay, but she had to step the fuck back, step away real quick, get some air real fast. Excuse the phone. Get some air real fast. It's becoming too much for her. This journey is too much for her. Life is good, but it's not complete without the union. But the union is, you know, seems like everything else is kind of functioning good, but the union, and because of that, the vibe feminine is just withdrawing, withdrawing, but she's coming out of that energy. Clarifying this Lucy Lou card, this Queen of Swords that the Divine Masculine has in his past position, we got the Eight of Wands, I mean the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is about reaping what you sow. It's about sowing your seeds and getting ready for harvest. Not having your harvest yet, but getting ready for it, like... Watching your plants grow. They ain't ripe yet, but you watching them grow. You feel me? So, the energy that the divine masculine is moving away from is that, like I say, he's made his decisions and he's sticking with it. People he cut out, he got to live with that now. Even if he is having second thoughts about the people he cut out, about the things that he did or that he's doing. You feel a little feel a little type of way about it, but he knows the long in the long run it's gonna pay up. That's why I'm taking that energy. As far as the divine feminine in relation to herself, clarifying this five of wands here. We got the four of wands. Once again, this conflict is all about this this twin flame situation. This is in regards to herself. Exactly what I was just saying in in in, in, in this. You know, her past energy. You know, this this hermit card that's knocked her off her balance. You know, off her square. It's too much. It's too much conflict. It's too much stress. It's too much back and forth. And it's in regards to herself now. So it's messing up her space now. This is in her energy space. This four of wands. This eleven eleven. This twin flame situation is just bringing too much conflict. Too much back and forth. Too much back and forthness. With the divine feminine, and it's really like I say, bass gonna hang on by a, th a, a, a thin string, a thread. Clarifying this four of swords, as far as the divine masculine and his relation to the divine feminine, we got the ten of wands. So how I take this is. In regards to the divine feminine, the divine masculine has has ended something with the divine feminine in mind I take that as he just ended his little karmic or he just shaking his karmics staying more focused on the feminine probably stay you know focused on being single or some shit but staying focused on the feminine it's like he'll rather be by himself than with some doppelganger in the process of him trying to get to the twin or I take this as he's going to end He knows his time is up because this is the ending, you know, and this is right under this twin flame conflict that the divine feminine is going through. He knows it's something about the end, something he's passionate about. Those are wands, ten of wands. Something he's passionate about is going to end, and that's on his mind. I also take this as he senses that the divine feminine is going to move on, step back, like. Leave him be. Let him do what he... Sh I mean, she's already let him do what he does. She's given him rope. Infinite rope. She's given him all the space he likes. All that. And even with all this space that the Divine Masculine has been getting from the Divine Feminine. Even though she let... You know, even though he's being loved unconditionally with all the Rick and Moreau that he's up to. It still ain't enough. That's what the Divine Feminine is really in conflict about. Is how is it still not enough? I mean, I'm all this shit to you, but we can't move forward. What's what's the deal? Like, what's really what's really good? You know, what's really good? Divine feminine is just at her wits end, and the divine masculine is hanging on by a string. Now let's clarify this devil energy that this divine feminine has in her energy space in regards to the divine masculine. We got the nine of swords. So yeah, it's eating her up, kid. Losing sleep, stressed out, over the masculine. 
over his behavior, over his methods, over how he's moving, over the decisions that he's made, over the time that's been spent in this journey and where it's actually got on a 3D, not on a fourth and fifth dimensional level, but only on a 3D. She feels chained to him and she wants to break that chain. And the Divine Masculine senses that energy. As far as the Divine Masculine in regards to himself with this Two of Wands, Twin Flame energy that he got, once again, he's at these eights. <clears throat> we got the Eight of Cups. Like I say, he's going within himself. Introspection. This is taking a step back to really go within. That's how I take that Eight of Cups. And this is in regards to this Twin Flame situation. And under and this is under the twin, the divine feminine devil action with this you know stress and nightmares and can't sleep business. So in the same relation as divine feminine, you cannot sleep. This is really he's really been on your mind as far as this energy. You've been on his mind as far as the union energy. It's not the same equal. I mean, it's kind of bad up here and it's kind of whatever it is, whatever the divine masculine be feeling. We, you know, he thinks a lot. He goes to introspective a lot. That eight of cups is his thizzle. That's his thing. He likes, you know, I don't know. Let's, let's keep going. As far as the Six of Swords, what the Divine Feminine is moving away from in the future. Clarifying this Six of uh, Swords is moving away from something okay to something better. Moving from something bad to something good. We got the Eight of Wands. So how, and this is the future position for the Divine Feminine. So how I'm taking this is she going to let the Divine Masculine know he's hanging on the string. She's going to let him know how he been acting. She probably gonna try one last attempt, one last hurrah before she really step step on, step off. Leave him be. Let him do what he does. Love him from afar as always. It's always the love there, but hey. I take this as divine feminine is gonna make one last stand, like X Men. One last gesture. Before she really Before she really makes her move, her big decision. Because they're both, they both, bottom line, you both have decisions to make. Clarifying this ace of swords, this huge decision that a divine masculine has to make in his future, we got the eight of swords. This represents self imposed prison. This represents being blind to something, not seeing nothing, not seeing something that you're supposed to be seeing right now. You know, holding yourself back. Being ignorant, being just blind to things, just naive. And I'm going to change this Ace of Swords to truth. Something telling me to call this Ace of Swords truth. He's just blind to the truth right now. Or naive to the fact that the Divine Feminine is going to drop him like a hot pocket. Fresh out the microwave. Or maybe he just don't want to believe that. Which is probably why he acts the way he acts. Because he knows that Divine Feminine is going to stick around. She always has. You know what I mean? But even with this new action of Divine Feminine stepping into this Divine Masculine energy. Pretty much calling plays. It's kind of letting him know that things are changing. And the Divine Feminine is not the person she used to be. So he's going into the future. Kind of... In a self-imposed prison. And to make sense of that statement, it's just like he's... He doesn't want to make this decision. He doesn't know... I mean, I don't know if he doesn't know how to make this decision. I don't know. I don't know. And read minds. Like, read energy. I just see that he's... He doesn't want to make that choice. Or he doesn't want to be the one to make that choice. Going into the future. Clarifying this four of cups, the overall energy. We got once again <laughs> two of swords. We got the pivot card, the pump fake card, stutter step card, 
on a decision. Decision has to be made. It's spades dominating this this whole reading and decisions. Clarifying this bottom line. You got the King of Swords. I mean King of Pentacles defining this King of Swords. So on top of this big decision, something big is gonna manifest in the three D. So in order for some in order for something big to manifest in the 3D, a big decision has to be made. And big decisions got to be made on both divine masculine and divine feminine. This is for both. Overall and underall are always for both. I'm going to ask the universe two questions and then I'm going to give a general overview of the general overview. What does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? What does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? I'm gonna take these cards. And what does the divine feminine want the divine masculine to know? And then I got this extra card. I'm going to just set right between both. So I'm going to sum this up. <clears throat> Overall, big decision got to be made, twins, and the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Y'all going to have to pick y'all head up and really look and see the opportunities that's presenting itself for y'all to A, Get closer to this union. B, get closer to some closure. Or C, get to some progression. Because the divine feminine is tired of the back and forth. And the divine masculine is just tired of looking like <laughs> Officer Doofy and shit. Like, he's just tired of looking stupid. He's looking like Bozo the Clown. He's looking like Ronald McDonald right now. And he knows that. And it's not a good look. So, big decision has to be made for him to manifest Something big in the 3D. This big reunion, big closure, big progress, something big. Summon up the divine feminine. She was balanced. It was all good just a week ago. She was on her square. Once again, she in her feelings. Became the hermit. Fell back. Fell all the way back. Some also helped her, I mean, some also caused her fallback, but we're talking like Six of Pentacles. This is something that's self-sustained. This is something you're supposed to be maintaining anyway. Like, this is something you individually balance. That you were balancing also, but now you're looking at it totally different. This Twin Flame journey, this Twin Flame union, it's too much for you right now. You really don't know how to handle it. You really don't know how to take it. You really don't know what at this point. Because you've been fighting and battling and it's kind of like it ain't got you nowhere. Like you've been in a stalemate. Also, you feel like the Divine Masculine is just a negative entity that's really not worth your time right now. That's really not worth your energy right now. He's acting, he's acting in ways that you wouldn't take any other person. You wouldn't allow any other person to have the behavior that the Divine Masculine has and it's throwing you for another loop. This is why you can't sleep and you're stressing right now because you just, you're really trying to grasp but you're at the point I'm taking this Divine, Ma Divine Feminine is like, look I don't know what the hell going on with you but I ain't even trying to figure it out. That's that energy right there. So with that energy Coming off that energy right there, she's just going to let the Divine Masculine know what the biz is, is. Like, let him know what it is one more time in case he forgot or something. You know what I mean? She's really going to reiterate the business. And if he ain't with the business, she's either going to head towards closure or, you know what I'm saying, move on. Or head towards reunion. You don't know how he might take it. Because like I said, 
he's kind of he kind of want to make a decision. He kind of wants you to leave. But what the divine feminine wants the divine masculine to know is that, bruh, I'm fighting all these battles and ain't won no damn war. This is the Vietnam War. She fighting right now. She knows she's in the Vietnam War and that it ain't no, it's not making no sense right now. She in Nam right now and it ain't making no sense. Feel me? She letting you know she knows. She fighting and it's like for what? She knows for what. She sees for what. She's calling the spade a spade for what it is. She's seen enough, heard enough, and done enough at this point. So she's gonna leave it up to whatever happens to influence this choice that she's gonna make on your behalf, divine masculine. As far as divine masculine. He fresh off his Lucy Lou business, fresh off his Lucy Lou shit, making cuts, kicking ass, taking names, dropping people like Hot Pockets, you know, making moves, being influenced by the Divine Feminine to do so, seeing how she's moving, how she's cutting people out of her life, how she's maintaining herself, how she's keeping a positive attitude, and how she keeps giving him this unconditional love that he ain't getting nowhere else. He's reaping what he sowed. He knows the decisions that he made is set in stone. He can't change the past, but he know he, he, he effed up a lot. He's reaping what he sowed, and he's embracing it. As far as the Divine Feminine, she's just always on his mind. Either something happened to her, or the Divine Feminine is going through some things that's keeping him focused on her or maybe she's been distant like she's been distant so he's been coming around he's been closer she's been silent so he's been talking of she hasn't been reaching out so he's been reaching out like that's what he's been on in regards to the divine feminine and in the midst of that he's ending things or in the process of ending something or wants to end it with you so he can really make himself better the same way you need to make yourself better by Cutting this devil energy out your life real quick and just getting focused on something else because it's all reflection. He feels what you feel just subconsciously. He knows something got to end, and like I say, all of this is influenced by the divine feminine because this union is really on his mind, also. But he keeps pussyfooting and going to this whatever this thinking place is, you know, inside that he goes to think and and deal with things, his inside place, the sunken place, wherever he goes, he goes there and thinks about the union. But a big decision has to be made. And he's A, too blind to see it, B, too naive to even recognize it, or C, he just don't even want to make it. He wants the divine feminine to make the decision. He doesn't want to make the decision. But what he wants the Divine Feminine to know is that he loves you with all his heart. He'll never let you go. You're one, two, three times a lady and you know the love is always going to be there. But I just need... You know, uh, it's like the song Donnell Jones, Where I Want to Be. You feel me? Like, he on that right now. He's where he want to be. And, you know... You know, it's true love. If he lets you go and you come back, it was meant. You feel me? Even if it means you coming back, dictating everything, making it happen. That's what he prefers. And the card that popped out between the both of these was this. What they wanted to know each other was this. The dark night of the soul. That's the dark night of the soul. The Divine Feminine fighting for a lost cause and a Divine Masculine kind of missing an opportunity that he's fucking terrified to make. That's the relation between the two. Bottom line is, that's, that's the dark night of the soul. That is the main issue that's going on right now. So this is Twin Flames and Separation. We got a uh, Divine Masculine's karmic situation coming up next. Stay tuned. This is D-Boom for LLE.